I've got the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and in today's tech tip I'll be showing you how to clear the cache partition. So this is basically clearing the cache partition and that's going to clear all the cache on your phone. So to do that we're going to have to go into recovery mode. Now to get into recovery mode we need a working computer. This could be a Windows computer, could be a Mac, could be even a Linux computer just as long as it's, as it's a computer. And then we'll also need a data cable. Now you can use any data cable. Preferably you want to use the one that came in the box, but of course, uh, due to differences in computers and ports on computers, you can use any data cable you can get your hands on. So connect the data cable to your computer on one end and on the other end, connect it to your Z Fold 6. Now, once you do that, if you're asked to allow access to data, just go ahead and allow that. Keep in mind that this should be a computer you trust. Now, once you've connected, you want to go ahead and turn off your Z Fold 6. So let's go ahead and switch off the phone. Now, the phone off, this is what you're going to do. We're going to long press the power button and volume up button simultaneously. So just press them and hold them simultaneously. And we're going to keep holding until you see the Samsung logo on the screen. And as soon as you see the Samsung logo, we're going to release the power button and continue holding the volume up button. So that's, that should boot us into recovery mode. So let's do this together. Power button, volume up button, press and hold. So power, volume up, let's press and hold. One, two, three, go, press and hold. Just keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Samsung logo appears, let's go, let go of the power button, continue holding volume up, as you can see, and that should boot us into recovery mode. As soon as you see the recovery mode window, you can let go of everything. Now, from here, you want to scroll using the volume rockers, volume down to scroll down and volume up to scroll up. So the power button is going to be the one to select. So let's scroll until you get to wipe cache partition. Now, once that is highlighted, you can always go to the power button and select. Then it's going to tell you that this cannot be undone. So confirm by scrolling down to select yes, and then the power button to confirm that. Now at the bottom of the screen, you can see cache wipe complete. That means the cache partition has been erased. Then, so now you want to go and make sure reboot uh, system now is selected highlighted and then press the power button to confirm that and that's going to reboot your phone now keep in mind that this will not delete your data it's not going to delete your apps or your images photos and videos everything is going to be intact we're just simply wiping the cache partition which is a partition on your phone's hard drive that's dedicated to uh, keeping cache files okay now this is going to make your phone faster and uh, more efficient Thanks for watching, comments and questions down below and good luck.